We've seen the encampments across the Twin Cities, clusters of people experiencing homelessness, looking for shelter. The nonprofit Settled is literally building solutions. So each home has all the all the things you need to, um, for basic life functions. So you have a bed, you have a sitting area, you have a kitchen where you can make a simple meal. At this demonstration site in Maplewood, you can see different types of tiny homes that are meant to be part of a larger community called Sacred Settlements. One is ready to go up on the east side of St. Paul. We want them to be productive places and we just think this will be, this is a this is a solution that can help meet the scale of need of homelessness in our community. And it's a large need. A recent report found Minnesota has the 13th highest rate of homelessness in the country. While researching homelessness at the University of Minnesota, co-founder Gabriel Clotis realized. Gosh, it's not just housing that people lack, it's really community and family. With that in mind, Clotis and Anne Franz came up with their concept inspired by this community first village in Austin, Texas. They're building the next 250 homes and you have people, everyone from teachers to doctors to um, you know multimillionaires actually moving out of their single family homes and living next to the formerly chronically homeless in their own tiny homes. Each of Minnesota's sacred settlements would consist of individual tiny homes built by volunteers along with a common house where people can do laundry, shower, cook, and have community meals with neighbors. What we really realized is that the, 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 the secret sauce of all of this is that if housed and unhoused will come and live together intentionally and um, be interdependent, that's you know, what we all need. Jamal Love is preparing to be a friend advocate. Instead of moving into the community, what we'll do is serve as extended family to people that are in the community. I think that's what is so attractive about Settled is it's we're not just trying to store people, we're trying to give people homes. So each tiny home is going to the homeless and it's sponsored by a different church. They cost anywhere from $25,000 for a single occupancy up to $40,000 for models built for couples. Awesome. And so we'll have more on this endeavor on care11.com slash sunrise. I think it's a great project. Yeah, great idea. Yeah.